Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ayana, and if you're not, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be going back to our roots. We're gonna be doing a natural hair video. Do not mind the broken nail, I'm gonna do my nails. But we're gonna be doing a natural video. I feel like I have not done a natural video in so long because I've been vlogging and I've just gotten used to vlogging that I haven't done like a talking video in a while. This is the perfect time because my hair needs something done to it badly. Really, son? Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm basically going to show you guys my updated curly hair routine, winter curly hair routine. Don't know what I'm gonna name it yet, but this is just what I do for my hair now. So I'm just gonna show you guys that process because I need to do my hair. I need to do a lot apparently because I look a mess, but that's besides the point. Let's go ahead into the bathroom and jump right into this video. Okay, so we're in the bathroom now. The lighting can either be great or it can be complete ass. So sorry if it switches out to yellow lighting. I wasn't bringing my ring light upstairs. I'm basically going to show you guys the products I use in the shower before I get in because you're not getting in the shower with me today, babes. Not today. So I'm just going to show you guys what I use in the shower because I'm gonna do all that off camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break it down to you guys what I use in the shower in order, I guess. So I'm gonna start from my shampoo and what I would usually use. So recently I've been using the Organics or the OGX Extra Strength Refreshing Scalp Tea Tree Mint Shampoo. Looks like this. And I got this when I had did the braids because I knew when I took them out and when I wanted to put, when I put them in, I wanted my hair to be completely cleansed thought anything with the tea tree or mint in it could give that refreshing feeling on my scalp and have the cleanly feeling and this does so i've been using this recently just in the colder months so i can fully strip my hair of any buildup or whatever so i can start with a fresh clean slate i don't know why i was about to start it with that i don't use matching shampoo conditioners so for my conditioner i use the shea moisture coconut hibiscus curl and shine conditioner which looks like this um i used to use shea moisture when i like first started my natural hair journey and then i like shied away from it but then recently i came back to it i honestly don't know why i did but i got the curling hems and smoothing one day after because i was using the conditioner literally as my styling product and it was just this conditioner my washing goes were turning out magnificent so i was like maybe i should get the actual product that's used to style your hair and which i did and now i use that in my routine now and glad i went back um but this is the conditioner i use if i don't use this one i use the aussie moist miracle conditioner you know the big tube that you get for like three dollars so one of those but recently i've been using that one then i do like a treatment in the shower you guys if you've been on my channel you probably heard me talk about this brand if you haven't been on my channel this is the first video you're seeing of me hey I use this brand a lot, but it's the Afro G Serious Care Protection Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. Oops. Okay, there it is. But I use this, and uh, this is pretty much gone. Like, it's literally probably like this much left. I use this heavily when I first started my hair journey. I use this brand a lot. I use the, what is it called? The protein treatment with the balancing moisturizer. I still use that treatment like once a month to like add proteins in and then i use this i restock this whenever i go out this brand just helped me with my natural hair journey and it just helped bring my curls back the next product i have is the shea moisture Monica honey and mafuria oil intensive hydration hair mask and it looks like this this deep conditioner hair mask whatever you want to call it all kind of fall in some kind of course. um this stuff smells so good it's really thick and it just gives my hair the moisture, the softness, the hydration it just needs whenever my hair is like in a drought and not at its prime. So basically when I've been neglecting my hair. So I pretty much use this, or I try to use this once once a week or once every two weeks. Um, I usually end up using it once every two weeks just because I don't like the weeks fly by and I don't pay that much attention to my hair. Like as far as deep conditioning it, so I use this about once every two weeks and 
I highly recommend this deep conditioner or hair mask. So if you're looking for one, I recommend getting this one and trying this one out first before you try any other ones because this is a game changer. Now, something new that I've added to my hair routine um, because of my coloring phase that I had that ended recently. So I got the Olaplex hair repair trial kit. I was going to buy the bigger bottle sizes but i wanted to try it out first and like i said this is a new addition to my routine but i heard this brand is really good with i don't have to explain it but helping repair the bonds in your hair so that can help with frizziness that can help with inconsistencies with like your hair pattern or your curl pattern or whatever this was 25 dollars at sephora if you guys are interested in trying it out and this is what the bottle will look like. But those are the products I'm going to be using like while in the shower. And then when I come out of the shower and I show you guys how I style my hair and brush my hair and all of that. I'm going to show you guys the products I'm going to use during that process. And I'll kind of talk you guys through it. So let me hop in the shower and I'll come back to you guys to style my hair. Hey guys, I'm back. So I'm going to reprime my hair and then I'm going to show you all the products I use in my hair when styling so let me repart and come back okay so i parted my hair to the side um i normally part my hair in the middle but i haven't done a side part in a while and i'm thinking maybe i should switch it up so that's what we're gonna do just gonna like put a deep not a deep first and then the regular side the side part but then i kind of like bring it to the middle in the back so I'm going to create two sections, the bigger section, the bigger half, and you know, the other side. You're going to need a spray bottle, but I'm going to be using the Olaplex number no. 6 Bond Smooth that I showed you guys this earlier. I'm also going to be using the Kinky Curly Not Today. It's all at the bottom, that's why I was holding it like that. But then I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl on Hand Thing Smoothie. And for my gel, I'm going to be using the Miss Jessie, Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. And then when I brush through my hair, I use my off-brand Demon brush. So I'm going to use the Bond Smoother first and then put my leave-in. Um, I feel like that just makes sense to put them first. Apply all my products with my hair all down. I don't um, section my hair any more than this to apply the products so i just apply the products as a whole i'm gonna use about this much of the bond smoother and i'm just gonna rake smooth and work that through this side of my hair it smells good um one thing i did realize in the shower with these products is they actually smell really good i like their condition i mean their shampoo so when applying my products i typically rake the products through my hair and i don't really bring out the brush until the end after i've applied my products but this product says to brush it in so i'm just gonna brush it in so now i'm gonna go on my kinky curly leave-in um i don't use too too much of this i use about this much honestly that's kind of a lot so like half of that and you're gonna rake and smooth yo i swear i just feel like it's been so long since i did a video like this i feel like i'm doing this wrong how can i do a video wrong it's my video but making sure i get the back like this section and then underneath and the inside of course And I really just apply the products until I feel like my hair is fully saturated in the product. So next I'm going in with my curl enhancing smoothie. The lighting is really probably going to bother the heck out of me when I edit. But it's fine. About this much for this section of my hair to start off with. Heavier products tend to um, make my curls more defined. It honestly doesn't weigh my hair down as much as you would think they would. Even though my hair is fully detangled, it's always 
gonna shed, I swear. Then I'm going to spray some more water in my hair. Cause it's like my hair's kinda drying out a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with the gel. It's Jessie's. And I start on the bottom with the planner product and then I work my way up and then when I'm done applying it to the length of my hair, I really focus on the top of my hair to kind of decrease that frizz amount. The last step with that is to do some more water and this is where the sectioning will come in i will split the front half of my hair in that section from the back and we're just going to go ahead and clip that out of the way if i can get the clip and now we're going to brush and define our curls so i'm just gonna take a chunk back heel have my section and i'm basically gonna brush outwards like straight out on my head like this and then I'm gonna roll the brush at the same time let it fall and do its thing the reason why I brush my hair out from my head is to help with the volume if you brush if you brush your hair straight down to your scalp your hair is more than likely going to lack that volume and it's going to dry flat to your head which that took me a while to learn so how you brush your hair plays a role in how it dries or at least it does for me so i brush out from my scalp so it's like lifted and it's gonna look crazy right now but it'll look good when it dries hopefully because my hair dries different every time and i'm gonna do the same thing to this top section And up and roll. Magic and drop. Now all my hair is like sticking out from my head. And you can do the same thing with this. And then I scrunch the section after I'm done brushing through it. You guys see how the back is kind of more wavy than the curly? And that's for me, you know, bleaching it and coloring it. But it's okay because we're on the track back to fully healthy hair. So this is one side of my hair done. Now I'm going to repeat the exact same process to this side of my hair. And then... I will come back to you guys so I can show you guys what my hair looks like wet and fully coated with product. So I'm done applying the product to all my hair. I'm gonna give you a 360. And now I'm finding out that I gotta leave the house and it's winter and I don't wanna leave the house and my hair is wet, but um I don't know. But this is what my hair looking like fully wet with product so what I'm about to do is I think I'm gonna lay my edges because I typically do lay my edges when my hair is wet that way it can set that way so I'm gonna lay my edges so I'm gonna do my edges I'm gonna plot my hair and I'm gonna wrap it up probably in a bonnet I'm gonna leave the houses like that because I don't care I don't and then later when I come back to you guys which will probably be around like three hopefully because Kayla's coming later so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to talk to you guys when my hair is fully dry so you guys can see the little things that I do when my hair is dry. So yeah, I'm hoping my hair turns out good because not all the time do my hair turn out good. So I'll see you guys in like a few hours. It's been a few hours. It's going on 6 o'clock and my hair is pretty much fully dried. Um, I think it dried faster because I went outside but don't do that if you have curly hair and it's wet and it's cold. But it's dry now. This is how it looks. <laughs> Not messed with or nothing. It shrunk up pretty, pretty uh, far. 
<laughs> now I just take an oil and I'm just gonna go through and separate the curls. Today I'm gonna use my OGX Biotin and Collagen Oil. This is that dish. And I'm gonna use a little bit of that and work it through my hair. My hair actually dried a lot faster with going outside. Probably because it was cold, but I was worried that my hair was gonna like get stiff. Cause that's what normally happens if you go outside with your hair wet. But I just took off my jewelry and now, and I'm just going to find big curls that are like clumped together and separate them. And the oil is kind of like stopping frizz or reducing frizz. I'm gonna be in the camera just say that. This is the difference between separated and not separated. This still kind of looks flat to me, like it could be bigger, but it is day one, so I'm not like, you know, pressing it. But this is what it looks like dried, no manipulation, and this is what it looks like chicked out and fluffed out and oiled. But I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, and then we'll come back. And I don't think I'll do my edges, y'all, because <laughs> I did my edges when my hair was wet. But yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to y'all when I'm done on the other side and I'm done like messing with it more and give y'all another 360 and then we're gonna close out this video because we are just gonna close the video because I actually gotta leave since here. I'm back and I'm done and I'm gonna give y'all a 360. There's a few curls, I'm not gonna lie, that I'm probably just gonna like, you know, because they just look dead and lifeless. So I'm gonna give y'all a little 360 and then we can get on the video but this is this side i don't know if y'all can really see the definition i think y'all can but this is the side with more hair and this is the other side look at the y'all probably can't see on the black shirt but the dead hair right here yeah we're gonna we're gonna fix her it's okay but that pretty much wraps up this video Hope you guys enjoyed the updated wash and go winter wash and go routine. And um, I'm gonna catch you on the video. The end of the video. I'm gonna catch y'all in another video. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, and check out some of the other videos on my channel, including some of the Vlogmas vlogs and all my other natural hair videos that I used to do before Vlogmas. And I used to vlog all the time. I'm gonna see y'all next video. Um, bye.